Hey everyone, so today I am going to recreate, or I'm going to attempt to recreate, the makeup I was wearing in my Best of Beauty, where I looked, it was a good skin day, everything kind of came together. Today, not so much. So when I filmed that, it was pre-holidays, I was feeling great. Now it is post-holidays, I have eaten my body weight in sugar, haven't gotten enough sleep, and definitely have not been drinking enough water. I'm totally dehydrated, I can see it in my skin, and I'm just getting over pretty decent cold. So it's not gonna look exactly the same, but let's fake it anyway. So what I've already done is my foundation and concealer and powder, and I will list everything I've used and going to use in the description box below. I'm gonna tuck my hair. One thing, the point of this is to sort of show you how to add some shine or glow into your everyday makeup routine. And something I've been using, and it will be a favorite for January, is this new to me, It Celebration Foundation Powder. And it is a powder foundation, and I use it to set my makeup. And it is in the shade Fair for me. And it has, it's a, you know, if you used it by itself, it's a pretty heavy powder foundation, but I use it with a fluffy brush and it just gives a nice, so you can see, I don't have any highlighter on. I just have La Mer foundation and concealer and it, and brow pencil. And it's a nice little gleam to the skin. I'm sitting in front of just natural light. So that's what's happening. All right, let's get on with the rest of this party. So I'm gonna use a lot of products with glow and gleam and shine, not so much glitter though. So we're gonna add some color into this face. And another favorite is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer. Bronze it, and we're just gonna slap that on. I've really been enjoying using more of an angled brush to uh, put bronzer on. And I've been using this it Cosmetics one, but I've recently pulled out an oldie but a goodie, an old Sigma one. Um, it's a little bit, wow, see how much I've got down here. Um, so the Sigma one that I probably should be using has a smaller brush head, so it won't get as far down on the, on the cheeks as I just did, oh well. So I have noticed, as I completely ruined any sort of healthy diet over the last month or so, that sugar intake definitely contributes to my breakouts. <laughs> hmm, you'd think at my age I would know this, but no, I needed to confirm it over and over. I like to take the bronzer across my cheeks and across my nose. Um, I don't think we're fooling anyone that I've gotten sun in January, but it does give a nice warmth to the face and bring it all the way up into the hairline, especially because I have my hair pulled back. I may keep my hair like this sort of today. And then, Blend, blend, blend. Now let's add back some more gleam. I've been using the Fenty Beauty, the Kilowatt, what is this actually called? Kilowatt, one side is lightning dust, one side is fire crystal. Now that I've really put a dent in it, it's hard to tell which side is which. One side's supposed to have more glitter than the other. I believe the, the left side, if you're looking at it head on, is the more neutral or less glittery side. So that's the side I'm gonna use load up my brush and kind of keep it towards the back of the cheek and bring it up a little bit. Now we have glow. A little tip and trick, if you're worried about hitting your fine lines, just pull it farther back, start it a little lower on the cheek, farther back, almost to the hairline and then bring it up. Generally speaking, the fine line should not extend all the way back to your temple. So that's a way to avoid hitting these lines that I have right there. And then I'm just gonna kinda take whatever's left on my brush and swirl it around. This also sets and primes the lid, so to speak. And then for even more glow, this is my absolute favorite blush. It's the Milani Harmony, I believe it is called. Co yeah, Color Harmony. And I'm gonna concentrate more on the lighter side and just smile and pop. Kind of pop, circle it, and then brush it back. And if you don't know my little technique, I like to do the highlighter first and then put on the blush so it looks like the highlighter sort of coming from within and glowing. And I'm also gonna dust a little bit on there. So that's it for the face, we are done. I've already done my brows, so let's get on with the eyes. So two products for this. 
My, um, it seems like maybe my favorite palette from 2018 and coming right in strong in 2019, the Milani Soft and Sultry palette. And we're just gonna dance around this palette. So first, I'm going to start kind of warming up the contour area with this um, kind of yellowy shade with a fluffy brush. And I'm going towards the top of the actual socket line, not really the crease, pulling it up. If you're not as fair as me, this isn't really a color that's gonna make much of a dent. But if you are this fair, it's great for transition. Okay, full disclosure, can't remember exactly what I did on that day, so let's Let's just start layering and see how it goes. Generally speaking, I don't recommend layering about eight shadows, but we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna go down to the, this one here, just below it, and put that a little bit lower into the socket line, into the crease, and we'll see how that goes. Now, I really feel like I need to define this a little more. We probably could have step, skipped that last one, we're gonna go in with this mid-tone brown right here with a little more defined brush. This is an old Smashbox one, but a MAC 217 would work just fine. An E25 from Sigma. I'm kind of just drawing where I want it. And then we can blend it out. And I'm tilting my head back a little bit so I can see the actual socket line shadow. Sorry, let me turn so you can see it. I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and run that under my lash line. I'm actually gonna take my Zoeva, what is this called? The Luxe Crease and just, there's nothing on it. It's dirty, but there's no current color on it and just go back and forth and blend a little bit. I'm actually going to take the lightest matte shade with that same brush and blend into the brow bone and also down onto that color to blend it a little bit more. And why I'm twisting around like a pretzel. Okay, now for the fun part. So for this, I like a, um, well, I like this particular brush. This is a Real Techniques domed shadow brush. You don't have to use this brush, but I really like the synthetic bristles. This is easier to clean. It spreads the product a little bit better. And also because it's not just a flat concealer brush, it lets you blend it as well. And we're gonna use our Stila Shimmer and Glow, not Glitter and Glow, in the shade Kitten, but you can use, of course, any shade you like. And if you're a little nervous about applying this directly on, you could always dab some on the back of your hand and then go on with the brush, but I am gonna go straight in and just paint this in the middle. I'm gonna do the whole lower lid. This is a little bit different, actually, but I don't care. Now to tone down the shine, I'm gonna pat it. And I'm gonna bring it all the way to the top not to the crease, but to the socket line. So I'm patting it down with the flat side, and then with the tip, I'm kind of drawing it all the way up into that <clears throat> socket line. My voice is still not all the way back. And then to just add a little definition and some more glow into the outer corner, I am going to take the third darkest shade down here with that Lux. Why can't I remember the name of this thing? I want to call it a Lux Definer brush, but it's the Lux Crease brush. And just take that tip, stamp it into the outer corner, do little circular motions. I'm doing it right on top of the um, Stila Shimmer and Glow. Pull it across a little bit and then bring it up a little bit into the crease as well. What I did differently what I did the day of the Best of Beauty is I actually did all the powder first. And if I remember correctly, now that I'm thinking about it, I actually did more of a halo eye. So I did this shade that I'm doing here. I did it on the outer corner and I did it a little on the inner corner here. Let's just go for it. Let's do the whole thing. 
And then I padded kitten in the middle. So we're just doing it backwards. I'll add it now. I'm gonna use a smaller brush for this. This is the MAC 222, which I can never remember if it's still around or not. There's a Sigma version as well. So I'm just sticking it in the inner corner and pulling it up a little bit up into the crease. The eyeliner that I've been loving lately is the Flower Gel Eyeliner. This is in the shade Bronzed Out. It's really just brown. I lay it on the side and just draw it along my lash line. No wing. Just like that. Just add a little definition. Very thin line. In looking at this, I want to lighten it up a little bit. So I'm actually going back in with this really light pearlescent shade on my ring finger and just tapping it in the middle and just kind of, I'm tapping straight up and down and then I'm kind of smearing it a little bit to blend. That's the technical way of doing it. And then I am going to try a new mascara for you. Um, I love the Lancome Grandiose. I haven't had it in a really long time and I just purchased the Grandiose Extreme, which I have never tried. And I'm really excited to try. It's got this gooseneck. I don't really know what the difference between the Extreme Grandiose and Grandiose Extreme is, but I love this gooseneck for getting the bottom lashes. I do know the brushes are slightly different, like the actual bristles. I was in store picking this up yesterday and I sat for a long time and compared the two. And I can't remember what's different about them, but I do remember holding them up side by side. I think the bristles on the original Grandiose are longer. All right, we're gonna stay zoomed in and just add um, some lip gloss. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Lip Gloss in, I believe this is Radiant Rose. Doesn't really go with my red plaid shirt, but there actually is, I don't know if you can see it, right there, it's bright pink lines. So sure, it goes. And there you have it. Just a really fast, easy way to add some gleam, glow, shine, whatever, into your everyday makeup look. Basically, just do a neutral eye and slap a little bit of this on right in the middle of your lid. You don't have to do a full lid like I did. The um, It Celebration Foundation is great as a setting powder. And also what I really love about this is towards the end of the day, when this part of my makeup has always worn off because I've been sitting like this and rubbing and whatever, you just take a thicker, more dense powder brush and just buff it right back on and boom, you have coverage again. So I think I'm gonna purchase a second one just to keep in my purse because I find that I'm constantly pulling this out of my makeup drawer, putting it in my purse and going back and forth. So great to have two of these. I only wish it came with like some sort of pad instead of this little useless I don't like this brush. It's just whatever. But that is a completely different discussion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there's any more kind of like quick, easy, everyday looks that you would enjoy seeing from me. Until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.